Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I was just getting some new shelves installed in my room and I thought I'd take all my Black Series down and uh, go through the collection that I've got. Because in the um, the room tour video, they are all sort of stacked sideways. Uh, so yeah, it'd be great to show you guys. So with the Black Series, um, I don't collect them all. I only tend to buy the ones that I'm interested in or if uh, I need to complete one of the mural images. So for the Mandalorian and Clone Wars, I am collecting all those. Uh, but some of the other films like Attack of the Clones, I'm not collecting all of those. So starting off with the 40th anniversary ones I've got. Uh, most of these are bad guys because those are the sort of characters I'm into. So starting off, we've got your Boba Fett, which I'm sure a lot of people have got that one because it's a great figure. Moving on, got the Attack Driver, Snow Trooper, TIE Fighter Pilot. And then in the corner here, we have the name swapped for Lom and Zuckus, just like the original Kenner packaging in that Amazon exclusive box. So next up, we've got the archive figures. So you'll probably notice I've not got too many of these. Not a huge fan of the packaging, um, but I picked up Bosk and IG-88 just to complete the Bounty Hunter set. And then uh, Cody and Thrawn are great figures and they were re-released recently in the archive wave. So I decided to pick them up just to close upon each one. So, mural packaging, I'll take you through each one of these. First up, we got the standard Phase 2 Clone Trooper. Clone Lieutenant. Camino Clone Trooper. So Katano, really happy to have picked this one up. I think the prices have shot up on this. Pre-ordered it, so I got that for retail. We have the 332nd Ahsoka's Clone Trooper. Mandalorian Loyalist, very cool figure. Same with the next one, the Super Commando, which is definitely my favourite out of the two. We have Cad Bane here. Then we also have the Convention 2 pack with Cad Bane and Toto 360. Then moving on to the Mandalorian ones, we have the first figure, Mandalorian in the Beskar armour. The normal Imperial Stormtrooper. Your Incinerator Trooper. The Armourer. The Smith's Toys exclusive over here in the UK. Child and Mandalorian. Includes those of extra accessories, that one. Uh, and then these four I picked up this week. We've got Grief Karga, Quilt, Moff Gideon, which is one of my favourites of the set. We have the Remnant Stormtrooper, which is just a straight repaint of the previous one I showed you. And over here in the far corner, we've got the Amazon exclusive Child and Speeder Bike 2 pack. And then the last one from that line, which I forgot to show in the previous clip, is the Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader. So we'll now take a look through my red box collection, and I've probably got the most of these. So I'll take you through row by row. You'll notice each of these are in a protective case just to keep the dust off. So we have Mandalorian, Kylo Ren, we have Darth Revan. On row number two, we have Royal Guard, the first release of Django Fett. We have Cara Doom, which has recently shot up in value, as everyone's probably aware. Moving on, we have the Gaming Greats Shadow Stormtrooper from The Force Unleashed. Commander Gree, which is arguably one of the best clones we've had in the Black Series. We have Obi-Wan Kenobi from Attack of the Clones. Moving on to the next row, we have another Forced Unleashed Stormtrooper. Commander Bly, probably my favourite clone. We have Plo Koon. Moving on to the next row, we have Gaming Greats version of Django Fett based on the Bounty Hunter video game. 
Commander Fox, Geonosis Battle Droid, Darth Nihilus, we have the Attack of the Clones Count Dooku, Dengar, great figure, we have the Scout Trooper from Jedi Fallen Order, Anakin from Attack of the Clones, just your standard Zuckus compared to the 40th Empire Strikes Back version. Electro Staff Purge Trooper. Kit Fisto. Forlom. And the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. I do apologise for the glare on these, it's the protected cases. So I'm not a massive fan of the sequel trilogy, but during the initial hype I did pick this up. Uh, I believe I got this from Star Wars Celebration in, I think it was 2015 or 16. I'll uh, show you inside. A really nice set, this. Uh, and I love the inclusion of the Darth Vader helmet, which is all damaged up. Very cool. Get your First Order flag in there. Interchangeable helmet. Very good piece. And here we have some of the smaller boxes. So you've got your Slave one there on the left. Luke's Landspeeder. Y-Wing. And then the Child. Then last but not least, we have Captain Rex in the Hazlab exclusive packaging. Very cool piece. Uh, the only downside with this figure is I believe the face sculpt isn't the updated photo real one they used on the standard red box release of this figure. So these shelves which I showed previously in my room tour are now empty, uh, apart from this bit here. So all my black series was right across the top here before. So the ones I've got installed are these. Two new ones here, so got all your black series nicely up there in the images. Looks perfect. Thanks all for watching. I uh, hope you liked sort of the quick overview of all my black series I've got. See you on the next one.